Hey, what's going on guys? Reverts here, and today I'm going to talk about how to improve your Call of Duty gameplay style. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so when you're playing Call of Duty Ghost, you know, it might be a very frustrating game. I know at the start of the game I didn't do so good. I, I didn't think I was going to do as uh, good as I thought I was going to do, but... <clears throat> um. You know, I was still warming up to the game, I was still getting used to it, and stuff like that. And so, right now, I'm going to go ahead and give you guys some of my tips to do better in your Call of Duty play style. So, uh, what you want to do is, you don't really want to rush out there, you don't really want to, you know, go blindly out into gunfire, you know what I mean? If you're just going to be rushing out in the middle of the map, the chances are that you're going to die a lot, and you're probably not going to get a lot of kills. So, uh, my first tip is, don't rush out, think what every single play that you're going to be doing, wait for your opponent to come to you and uh, you'll get the kill don't rush them because then uh, you know they might be set up in a better position than you are and uh, you know they might have the better shot and then you won't get anything so uh, you know make sure you play smart don't don't rush you know, play it a little bit campy if you will if that's your if that's your cup of tea but yeah just make sure you play smart another tip that I have is you want to get a good headset um, if you're using a regular Xbox mic, then that's honestly is not going to cut it anymore because now a lot of people have headsets, a lot of people can sound horn the game, and they're just listening for everything. They're listening for your footsteps wherever you walk and if the map will make a noise and stuff like that. So I would recommend you getting a headset now. Any headset would do. I had the Trans X720 Pros. They were good, but they broke on me, so now I just have Turtle Beach X12s, and they do the job. They're not the best headset out there, but they do uh, allow me to listen. They you allow me to sound horror really good so I would recommend you getting a cheap headset like that and if you're using an Xbox mic you should get rid of that as soon as you can and pick up a Turtle Beach X12 or something really really cheap that you can find Another tip that I have is play as a group of six. Now, uh, you can talk to any one of my friends, any of my clan members, and they will say that uh, whenever we get on, whenever I'm on, I will always do a six-man, and usually we will only lose about probably five games a whole night that we play. Like, we, we are, a, are a very solid team when we play together as this full six-man. I have people that run support. I have people that take down air support and uh, some slayers whenever you do objective uh, game-based modes. And uh, it's really, really fun, guys. And I would recommend you all playing as a full team of six, getting a full squad together, and just playing with a group of friends. And uh, the chances are that if you're going to be winning the game, then uh, you won't be doing so. You won't be having a negative KD. So um, you, what you should do is you should get a full team of six, get a six group of friends that you can find either online or in real life or anything like that. And you can go ahead and play with them. And uh, also what I've noticed a lot lately is that when I have a full team of six, I tend to not rage as much. But I do rage a little bit, but just not as much when I have a full team of six. And I can just tell, uh, you know, go cap B or go take the go take the blitz or whatever, stuff like that. And uh, yeah, those are a few of my tips that I have for getting a good KD and getting good at the Call of Duty Ghost. If you did enjoy the video, please leave a like and comment down below. Any questions that you have, subscribe for more videos. This has been Reverts, and I'll catch you later. Peace.